Dr. Drive, coming right back at you with another of our series of Shop Talk videos. What I want to show you today is our lap table and the way that we handle some of our parts that we're lapping. Alright, so I'm going to give you a little demonstration of some parts that we're doing right now and, and just let you see how we do it. You know, it's not so much to train you on how to do a lap table, it's just show you what our stuff is. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Earl from Shreveport, Louisiana. Earl called us up one day, obviously needed to drive for his for his machine, whatever it was, and because he was down. And I think he's just like so many of our typical customers. You know, you're 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 a, a, a hump and get it type of a guy, right? So Earl just says, "Okay, they've got my drive. I'm going down there to get it." Gets his son, jumps in the car, and heads for us has no clue as where we are. Travis is inside talking him in, giving him, giving him instructions. And Travis was like an air traffic controller bringing in a wounded bomber in World War II. Yet Earl was coming down here on a wing and a prayer. And there's there's Travis talking him in. Your landing gear's down and locked. You're at 10 feet, you're at five feet, you're at three feet. Touchdown. Earl landed right out here at 444 on Friday afternoon. Couldn't cut it much closer than that, huh Earl? Got his drive, hooked him home. I'll guarantee you, I'll bet you a dollar to a donut. That machine was up and running on Saturday morning. But that's just what I think our typical customers are like. But hey, I digress. Let's get back to the lapping table. What I've got here are distributors. These happen to be from TH70s. Uh, we lap all of our distributors in our rotating group. And we're trying to achieve a, a, an extremely flat finish on all these parts because the mating parts go together and to me this is the heart and soul of, of where the, the power is made on our motors. You know you've got uh, you've got the tractor pulls, you've got drag races and all that kind of stuff which are great examples of, of high speed torque. But these hydraulic motors they develop slow motion rock crushing torque and coming in here where these two parts go together the, the, the mating surfaces of these parts uh, it's critical. Now let me show you what I, how I do it. We, we, we've had these on the lapping table for just X amount of time and I'm going to take them off. Uh, you may not, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick up very much on here. Some of the, some of the lines are just uh, uh, black from our lapping compound and otherwise you, you might be able to see some scratches. These parts start out being pretty shiny and then as our process goes they they actually become dull almost the opposite of what you would have thought that you would want to achieve uh, so then we've taken it and oh come on back stay okay certain amount of coefficient of friction that you have to overcome there but we'll take them off the lap table and bring them over here. This is a piece of polished granite and it's supposed to be pretty darn flat. It is pretty thick. It's, gosh, it's at least four or five inches thick. Um, I took our 24 inch straight edge and put it on there <laughs> and you know what? It's pretty darn flat. So we'll do this. I'll be kind of quick this time. This is sort of like those cooking shows, you know, and they say you put this in the oven and then they reach over and pull it out and say this is what it looks like when it's done. So I don't know. Let's see here. It still needs some more hand lapping. Uh, it's not quite as dull as I like. I still see some swirl marks in there. So I would have to work on that uh, for a while longer. But uh, that's basically it. That's, and that's, that's the way we do it. If you need us, you can dig us up on the internet at texasfinaldrive.com and finaldriveparts.com. Y'all come back now, you hear?